Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. This is Rick with XYZ Modeling and Graphics. Today, we're looking at month number 13, specifically issue 49. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe or mash that thumbs up if you enjoy the content. So we're going to change things up a little bit here. Starting this month, I'm going to do one video at a time per issue. I've had a few requests to uh, sort of slow things down. So um, first we'll begin by opening up our packaging. As usual, make sure everything's present and accounted for. Just give your parts a good look over and make sure everything's looking good. There's no damage to those pieces or parts. Now I'm also working with a couple different camera angles here and um, I promise you as things go along things will improve. I'm uh, just sort of experimenting with this whole process of slowing things down. So I apologize if I'm not completely in frame and, and some of this and it's a work in progress. But uh, there is cause for celebration here. We are working on our final wing, the upper port side wing I believe it is. And um, we're going to begin by taking the shoulder, I called it a bushing earlier, but basically they're calling it a laser cannon shoulder. We're going to insert it into the larger extruded aluminum tube. And I will say that somebody, they must be listening to people's complaints because this one, like the earlier issues, the bushing here was barely large enough to make a, a good connection to the extruded aluminum tube. Now it's evolved to the point where it's hard to get in there. So you can see here I'm having to apply quite a bit of pressure to get that thing to seat properly. Which is great, I mean there's absolutely no chance that this thing is going to fall apart. I mean I literally had to put my entire 175 pounds of weight on this thing to, uh, to get it to seat firmly. Next we're going to align the tab uh, in the side detail with the matching slot in the side tubes and making sure that the part is oriented properly. And just by using our fingers we can place that piece into position and give it a good push with your fingers. And you know me, I like my CA glue, so I'm going to brush the back of that part so that detail piece we just installed stays firmly in place over time. So I'll, I'll brush the back of these parts whenever possible just to preserve the finish of the exterior part of the piece. Next, you want to press that detail piece into the side of the laser cannon housing. And they all fit together very, very well. Just want to make sure all your contact points are firmly seated. And likewise with this piece, I will brush the inside with CA glue just to ensure that those pieces stay in place. And that pretty much wraps up issue number 49. Final page here is a nice little profile shot of the X-Wing. So not too much to this issue, but like I said, since I'm changing things up and, and working out a new way to present these videos, it was a good it was good that I didn't have much to do while I sorted out all the other details. So my next video will definitely be a little more interesting. I also wanted to show you this little nugget I found online. We have a gentleman out there who appears to be a little bit farther along than I am in this build process, but he's done some modifications to the cockpit. Looks like he has a little Arduino Mini already mounted into the fuselage of this cockpit. And that 
would control the flashing of the lights and uh, LEDs that he's got in there. So, it looked pretty good. I, I've got to say, if you want to check out his video, I've got the, the link in the description. Now, I'm not saying this is perfect, but it gives me a pretty good idea of how I might make that cockpit look a little bit better.